Chapter 9, Mishnah 7. The Mishnah now teaches the law for houses in unwalled cities. When it comes to redeeming the houses of unwalled cities, we give them the, advantage, the advantages of houses in walled cities and the advantages of ancestral fields. Thus, they can be redeemed immediately and can be redeemed throughout the entire 12 months after they were sold, as is the law with the houses of a walled city. And they go out at Yovel and through the deduction of money, as is the law with ancestral fields. If the seller did not redeem the house, it returns to him at Yovel. And if he does wish to redeem it, he does not have to give back the full price he received, but he deducts from it the value of the years that have already passed and pays only the remainder. This is unlike the law for houses in walled cities, which do not return to the owner at Yovel, and which must be redeemed by paying the full purchase price, even if they are redeemed at the very end of the year. The Mishnah gives an example of a city that is considered to be an unwalled city, even though it does have a wall. And these are treated like the houses of unwalled cities, houses of a city which has only two courtyards, each with two houses. Even if they are surrounded by a wall from the days of Yeshua, son of, the son of Nun, these houses are treated like the houses of unwalled cities, and they qualify for the double advantages of the houses of unwalled cities. This is because two courtyards are not considered a city.